How's it going everyone? My name is Potato and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your GTA online character look like and resemble that of Tony Cipriani. And if you don't know who he was, he was actually the main protagonist, the guy you play as in GTA Liberty City Stories, which came out a few years back. Now, before we get started with the video, I would just like to say... Uh, if you do enjoy this kind of content and would like to see a little bit more, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you are new around here as we are on the road to 50,000. Also, down below in the description, I have some links to my Instagram page, my Twitter, Twitch, Google+, Plus, etc. Uh, if you guys want to go check those out and follow me on there, that would be greatly appreciated. But with all this out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with the actual video. So, uh, as I said, we're going to be making or trying to emulate Tony Cipriani to the best of uh, our abilities, or I tried to emulate him the best that I could. I, I know I'm not the best at this, and I'm sure some of you guys have some better methods. So what I want you guys to do is, uh, my Twitter link, as I said, is in the description. Tweet at me pictures uh, if you made your character or tried to make him look like Tony Cipriani. Tweet at me pictures uh, of what your character looks like kind of dressed up as this. Very eager to uh, see some of the pictures you guys send in to me. So what the first thing you want to do uh, is is you want to head over to the nearest barber shop and when you're at the barber shop for the hair I would choose the side parting spiked black that just looked the best to me uh, And it was just the closest one that we could get to Tony Cipriani now for facial hair I chose a just uh, a stubble, but you can choose ju just whatever you want. You could choose a light stubble I, I thought stubble looked the best uh, but now, after you you finished up at the barbershop, what you want to do is you want to head over to the nearest clothing store. Now, once you are at the clothing store, you want to go to the pants section, and you want to choose the dark black baggy pants. I believe that's what they're called, and I'm not good with the names of the clothes, so excuse me on those guys. But uh, once you have the pants on, what you want to do is you want to choose a top, and I chose a tailored black sports coat or blazer. Uh, I thought that one looked best and closest to what Tony Cipriani wore. Now, as for the shirt underneath that, just go to shirts and choose a white untucked shirt. Now, the reason I chose this setup uh, is just due to the fact if you see pictures of Tony Cipriani, you'll see that his collar uh, on his shirt that he wore under the blazer is it pops out over the coat pretty much. And this was the only little setup I could find that worked. Now, for the shoes, lastly, what you want to choose for those is just some Cobra slip-ons. Now, that is really just about it for Tony Cipriani that makes him up and... I, I want to say I know these videos are very short and they seem very simple, but you guys request these and I do enjoy making them. Sometimes I kind of refrain on doing those because I, I feel that they're too easy, but I have a whole playlist of these. I've made CJ from San Andreas, Claude from GTA 3, uh, etc, etc, and I'll link that down below in the description or put that on the screen somewhere uh, if you guys want to check out some of those other videos. Now, that is really just about it. As I mentioned at the beginning, be sure to leave a like if you did enjoy and subscribe if you are new around here as we are less than 1,000 subs off of 50,000, which is awesome. So thank you guys for the continued support. And maybe in the next video, we could make Tommy Versetti or Victor Vance. You guys let me know down in the comments. But that is just about it. You all take it easy. Have a safe one. And I will talk to you later. Bye.